yang Welcome to the DJ Sounds show in Berlin at Anita Berber. I'm Fidelity Castro from Pioneer DJ Radio and today I'm here with John Osborne. Hello, John. Hello. John is British, moved to Berlin in 1999, Correct, had residencies yeah. at Cookies, Chisol, Panorama Bar, where you recently played a back-to-back -back with Andy Belmecker, if I... That's right, yeah. That was, yeah. So, uh, what made you move to Berlin and also what made you stay, John? Um, well, mainly the boredom of London and living in London my whole life and then an opportunity came to move to Berlin, so I took it. I'd never been to Berlin before um, and then instantly being in the city I found myself in a position where I could kind of breathe and, uh, and, and relax and live a slightly more creative life I suppose and that's what kept me here. Yeah. John ist äh, nach Berlin gezogen in 1999 und hat äh, Residency seitdem im Cookies, im Tresor und in der Panorama Bar gehabt. Und ich habe ihn gefragt, warum er hergezogen ist und was ihn hier gehalten hat. Und er hat einfach Langeweile gehabt in London und äh, hat einfach in Berlin das Gefühl, hat, dass, er, dass er kreativer sein kann und dass er seine musikalische Seite hier einfach besser entfalten kann. Genau. Genau. And um, you're also no stranger to Ibiza. You're also playing in Japan at the Labyrinth Festival soon. When is that coming up? That's right. In September I'll be there. I'm really looking forward to that. I'll be playing a, a, a session similar to this on the Domune and, and then the actual Labyrinth Festival itself and also uh, the lab closing party at Womb. So oh, nice one. Really excited about that, yeah. Also John ist auch kein, äh, kein Kind von Traurigkeit in Ibiza. Äh, man kennt ihn auch in Japan. Er spielt äh, bald auf dem Labyrinth Festival im September und äh, auch auf der Closing Party dann im Womb, die Lab Closing Party. Und ähm, uh, you're also co-running a label. Correct. And this is, uh, is it true that the label's called Tan Staffel? Is it true that it stands for the phrase, there's no such thing as a free lunch? That is entirely true, yeah. Uh, why that phrase? Why that phrase? Well, um, my partner, October, in Bristol, um, he actually came up with the name um, and He's a big fan of the science fiction writer Robert Heinlein and um, well <laughs> thank you <laughs> and uh, he uh, explained to me what it meant and more than anything else it was just the, the, the meaning of it that I liked because you know I'm a, a, I graft and I work at what I'm doing um, and also more than anything else I liked the, uh, uh, the way it sounds Tanztafel which kind of sounds like a weird mix between German and Dutch which could sound like um, dance table or dance tablet or something like that. So that, that, that's kind of what appealed to me. So how do you pronounce it again? Because I did a Tanz, Tanztafel. Tanztafel. Yeah. Also John is auch um, uh, Co-Label Manager von dem Label Tanztafel. Und uh, das ist ein Label, was in Bristol und Berlin um, operiert. Genau. Und uh, ich habe ihn gefragt, ob diese Phrase korrekt ist. Uh, There's no such thing as a free lunch. Und er meinte, ja, das hat äh, mit dem 60er Jahre. You have to explain again. Der 60er Jahre Schriftsteller, yeah. Sci-Fi-Schriftsteller, yeah. Robert Heinlein. Um, ich glaube, das war sein Buch uh, Stranger in a Strange Land, aber vielleicht bin ich da falsch. Sehr gut. Du hilfst <lacht> mir sehr gut in Deutsch hier. Und um, you, in a recent interview with Little Earbuds, you said that you switched from vinyl, you've been a vinyl purist for many years, mm -hmm. uh, to digital. Correct. And uh, what made you decide to make the switch? Um, well, first of all, I was playing uh, quite a few back-to-back -back sets with Scuba, and he was using the CDJs, and I was using vinyl, and that was a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and so I started to use more CDs with him, so then I became familiar with, the, with the, how the CDJs work. Um, but I still had this kind of fear of digital. Um, and then actually in Ibiza one year, George Fitzgerald explained to me how um, I could have a very high-end ripping station for recording my vinyl and that ultimately my vinyl will sound better in the club than if I was actually playing vinyl. And um, that kind of sealed the deal for me because obviously as a DJ the one thing that I care for most is, is quality of sound. And so once that clicked in my mind, um, it, was, it was a no-brainer and I haven't looked back since. Um, And then when I started to learn more on what these Nexus players can do, it opened my mind to a whole new world and injected a whole new level of excitement that I hadn't felt with DJing since I bought my turntables in 1993. So 
that was that was it basically. Um, so, ganz kurz auf Deutsch, ich versuche es mal kurz zu fassen. Ähm, ich habe ihn gefragt, warum er den Switch gemacht hat von, von äh, Vinyl zu Digital. Und er hat einfach am Anfang viele Back-to-Back-Sets mit Scuba gespielt, wo es dann einfach ein äh, bisschen nervig wurde, sozusagen, ja. ähm, äh, zwischen Vinyl und CDJs zu wechseln. Und in dem Set war es einfach einfacher. Dann hat er erst mit CDs angefangen. Und ähm, wer hat ihn nochmal den Hus Hus George, George Fitzgerald. Ja, yeah, George Fitzgerald mm -hmm. äh, hat ihm dann einfach den Tipp gegeben, sein Vinyl äh, aufzunehmen und äh, äh, digital abzuspielen. Und die Soundqualität war sogar besser als analog zu spielen vom Plattenspieler. Und das war genau. dann sozusagen das letzte Zünglein an der Waage. Richtig. And um, so, uh, what kind of sound are you going to play tonight? Good question. Music I like. <laughs> okay. It's a it's a hard question for me to answer that. I mean, I suppose um, I play a, somewhere a mix between house and techno that has a tendency to lean slightly more to the experimental side. Um, but at the same time, I'm not afraid of being a little bit, um, let's say, euphoric. <laughs> okay. Also, er spielt uns heute einen Überraschungsmix, aber ein bisschen House, ein bisschen Techno. Und äh, eine Frage habe ich noch. Da ist noch eine Frage. Was made you not be switching to laptop DJ, for example? You could have done that. I could have done that. That's true. But um, uh, the 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 feel of playing with CDJs is still familiar to me from using vinyl. And uh, you know, I've played vinyl for 20 years, so it wasn't such a strange jump. And and to play with a laptop would be a little bit cold for me in some kind of way. I would, and I'd lose interaction with the crowd, I'll be staring at a laptop screen and I still feel comfortable with this hands-on format. Super. Ich habe ihn gefragt, warum er beispielsweise äh, mit seinem digitalen Sound ohne Laptop spielt und hat gesagt, es ist einfach für ihn angenehmer, wenn er äh, vom Gefühl her einfach die Jogwheels auch hat und äh, er mag es auch nicht, wenn er einfach einen Laptop zwischen sich in der Audience hat. Es genau. ist einfach so irgendwie im Weg. Dann freuen wir uns, dann we're looking forward to your set. Thank and you. And take it away. Okay.
John, <laughs> that was a weekend mix. Thank you very much. Really enjoyed it. Did you play any of your own coming up releases? No, ones? no, I actually I didn't. Nothing from a label. Um, there is some stuff that I should have probably played, but I didn't. Um, the, the the promos that get fired into my inbox seem too tempting and too new, and the stuff that's on my label seems sort of a little bit old for me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, since you brought up the 60s, I've done a little homework and oh. I wanted to ask you, yeah, Bob Dylan was asked, uh, Bob Dylan was called the Judas when he switched from acoustic guitar to electric guitar. Oh, I'm Judas, yeah. Did you, did you get any any of this when you, yeah. from your vinyl yes, of, diehard yeah, friends? Of, of yeah, of course, of course. It's kind of, uh, you know, I don't know you anymore. Oh, <laughs> that kind of thing. But, you know, all in joke and all in jest. I mean, at the end of the day, they tease me and stuff, but um, they're the same as me. It's It's not about what you're using, it's what you play and how you play it. That's important. So. Ja, ich habe John einfach kurz gefragt, ähm, weil er vorhin äh, die 60er Jahre äh, ähm, kurz angesprochen hat, äh, habe ich auch ein bisschen Hausaufgaben gemacht und Bob Dylan wurde in den 60er Jahren als Judas beschimpft, als er von der akustischen Gitarre zur elektronischen Gitarre gewechselt hat. Also habe ich ihn gefragt, ob ihm das ähnlich ging mit seinem Vinyl äh, Die Hard. Friends. Und er meinte, ja, er wird ein bisschen geteased, aber äh, er, er lässt sich einfach nicht irren. Er weiß, dass es äh, nicht darum geht, womit du spielst, sondern was du spielst und wie du spielst. Richtig so. And um, if people want to find you in Berlin, they can find you at Panorama Bar on August 22nd. Correct, yep. And if people want to find you online, how can they find you? Um, they find me at Facebook, John Osborne. Um, And yeah, that's it. Basically, just Google my name and you'll become up pretty easy. Okay. <lacht> also wer äh, in Berlin ist, kann ihn am 22. August in der Panorama, Panorama Bar sehen, spielen, hören. Und ansonsten äh, auf Facebook John Osborne. Ähm, Soundcloud, genau Soundcloud. das gleiche. John Osborne. Genau. Yeah. Pretty standard. Thank you for being on the DJ Sounds Show. Thank you for having show. me. It was good fun. Sweaty. <lacht> And thanks for tuning in to DJ Sounds. Uh, the DJ Sounds Show in Berlin at Anita Berber. I'm Fidel Di Castro. This was John Osborne, and uh, you can find us on pioneerdjradio.com. <laughs>